I believe that you will agree with me that uh, water is one of the most important thing that you need to concentrate your mind on when it comes to fish farming. True or false? I guess the answer is true. So please and please, eh? anything that will make your water to be good while you are a fish farmer, do it. Don't overlook it. Try as much as possible to do it because that will help you. All right, because those fishes they live inside water. So if the water is not comfortable for them or is not doable for them to live in, you will start seeing them floating. And you know the meaning of floating. You know the meaning of floating. Hey, good, thank you. So you start seeing them floating. So try as much as possible to make sure that the water is good. So today I'll be telling you. How to make quality water for your catfish pond. So aside that, um, I noticed that most people have not subscribed to this channel. If you haven't subscribed, um, what you just have to do is just touch the screen. Just touch your screen like this. Just touch your screen like this. And that is all. Just subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can be informed anytime we drop video. Normally, this platform is all about dropping agricultural videos which will inspire or improve you. So, it's better if you can subscribe to this and to this channel so that you won't miss any of our videos. So, thank you. Have you done it? Yeah, thank you. Just do, just do something like this. That is all. There are, there are many things that you can do to make your water, to make quality water for your catfish. But one of them are making fluoration system. Yeah, it's not common. But most of these big farms, if you have visited big farm, you will definitely see fluoration system. Because it's an automatic system. We stick up it we stick out bad waters or those substances that are bad in water. Like um yesterday you feed and after feeding you there's now some some particles under the water you know what i'm talking about so some particles under the water so that fluoration system we take out those articles so that you can have fresh water the major point is having fresh water so that is the major point of um the major point of having a quality water fresh the water be fresh so when the water is fresh they will leave they will have a good time there. But when the water is not free, when they are seeing some articles, that article is now causing some bacteria inside the water, you start seeing some um, disease and then from there, they will float. You know what I'm saying? I don't use the normal name, but because I don't I don't use the normal name because I, I'm not paying for such thing for anybody. So, but I'll just use that, that terminology, float. So if you, if you are a fish farmer, if I say float, and when the catfish started floating, when the belly the belly is up, hey, so the fish is now upside down. I believe you know what that means. So let's just continue. Another another machine. That thing is a machine. You can get the machine. I don't, we don't have it to save our farm. That fluoration system. But we have a reactor. A reactor. We do say a reactor in silver farm. So once you want to create what what a reactor does is to create oxygen. Um, in the water, so um, that reactor will help you to create. You know, um, it, it usually bring out bubbles, so that bubbles is bringing out fresh water and fresh oxygen into the water. So we still have reactor, so you can place another um, about the reactor and try as much as possible. It won't sh before before you stock the fish and eh? before you stock the fish, try as much as possible to, you know, um. Um, install the evacuator into the water then then you now stock the fish so anytime yes after three more after three weeks we can do source again so with that you have a quality water for your fish and once they start receiving good um, oxygen inside the water they will live longer for you all right there will not be mortality i've already said what mortality before you ash your fishes or before you start your ashing process check this check your water pH then after your production you check this so these two is available for pickup so if you need them you can call on me and it will be shipped to you between two working days now so what am I trying to say um, pH is one of those things that we use to check our water that means we call it water testing so to know if the water is okay if we can stock or we cannot stock 
but the dissolved oxygen is checked okay if the is there maximum oxygen in the water or is there minimum oxygen in the water so dissolved oxygen will tell you if and tell you about that so that is how the two works so but most importantly dissolved oxygen water ph is one of the one most common use because this one this one is more important so that is how you need to that is what you need to do to make sure that you have a good quality water so for those farmers that are usually overfeed, that waste feed a lot, you no, know, just because they have the mindset of you know making their making their this thing, making their catfish to go big, don't overfeed. If you overfeed, it can contribute to bad water in your farm. So once you start, if you continue to overfeed, it will contribute to bad water. And once those particles are under that water, it will cause damage for you that is when you start seeing your water will start turning green i know under the ground you start seeing some uh, what is it called is it a uh, 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 gland a big uh, gland so you start seeing all those green stuff inside of it. and whenever you're washing your pond eh, remove those things just remove them so all those things remove them you don't need them so because all those things can also contribute it starts its own positive side you also have its own negative side so but as you are as you are using taponin pond remove it as long as not using eating pond just eating pond you can see use it but that uh, for tapping pond remove it so that is what you can do as a catfish farmer another thing that you need to understand is shade and cover uh, i say the same thing but this just different thing what is the benefit for that one it will prevent pred um, predictor so that will help do all those things like lizard um frog rather for them to enter into that thing so a shade will help you cover it so that sometimes shade is also important and sometimes stress of the fish and again sometimes lighting is important so the best thing we can do as a farmer is sometimes you can cover and sometimes you cannot cover like sometimes you can shade the pond and sometimes you can just leave it but just do it simultaneously or i do it simultaneously so sometimes it might help and sometimes it don't help because they need those fishes also need sunlight you get me so they need sunlight too so sometimes you can open it sometimes you can close it all right it's not only for ashing that you will just close it but when you notice that they are big you can close it and you can cover it any one of them nothing will happen another thing that can help you is going to the lab if you go to the lab you will learn more you will meet a lot of people you will test your water those people will give you more details on how to maintain good water so and also try to attend seminar all those things will also help you not almost don't only watch youtube videos or facebook videos go to seminars and um, ask questions whenever you go there with that you will improve yourself as a farmer all right so that is what i can offer you here in this video and um i hope you i hope you like it if you like it just tell me that you like it so and if you have any question you can drop it in the comment section so that i can read them and reply them immediately all right so thank you all for staying by thank you